Greetings everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of All Things Lambda, the community show that is a community show. Yeah, think about that one. Okay, okay, stop thinking because it's almost the end of the week and it's time for Half-Life Community News. And you don't need your brain for that, trust me. You really don't. Without further ado though, let's get started. Lambda Revolution. This is something we just about missed last week, but apparently Half-Life 1 Emod is getting a comeback in a remastered way. That's right, there was an Emod for Half-Life 1, and I didn't know that existed for some reason. Anyway, this remastered project started after Gunship Mark II, the mod developer, was fiddling around in Gold Source again for some nostalgia. And since he was thinking about remastering Half-Life 1 Emod while working on Half-Life 2 Emod, maybe now was the right time to do it. And since Gunship Mark II has gained a bunch more knowledge and experience, this version of Half-Life 1 Emod will be a lot better than what was released before. Man, I really gotta check out Half-Life 1 Emod before this new remastered version comes out. The goal all of this newly remastered version will be to improve on the gunplay that the original Half-Life doesn't really excel that much at and to improve the visuals in a way that doesn't destroy the feel of the game too much. Pretty much just like what Half-Life 2 Emod is doing. Now, when this new remastered version of Half-Life 1 Emod will release is still unknown. It's a side project after all, just like what most mods are, but I'm pretty sure we'll hear something about that in the near future. All we can do right now is wait. But while we wait, we do have a 30 minute gameplay video to look at though. This shows the mod at work on the Lambda Complex chapter of Half-Life, and yep, this definitely looks like M mod in Half-Life 1. The combat looks incredibly meaty, and I can't wait to sink my teeth into this. If you want to see this video and the update post over on ModDB yourself, then check the links down in the description below, cause I put them there. Another news item that happened last week was something related to Entropy Zero 2, arguably one of the most anticipated mods at the moment. Over on Twitter, Bretman asked the audience what chapter they wanted to see slash know more of, and it turned out that the majority of people really wanted to know more about Chapter 1. So that's what the first Media Storm article over on Entropy Zero's website is all about. We get to take a look at a whole bunch of up-to-date screenshots from Easy 2's Chapter 1, which takes place in a cold and destroyed Nova Prospect. And all of those screenshots are bound together with information on how this new story for Bad Cop starts, and we also get some information about the place we're playing through. It's a really interesting read. Now, Bretman has already tweeted a new poll for Media Storm 2, and it's looking like Chapter 2 is winning this time. So we'll most likely see that one next. It also looks like people just want to see parts from the game in a chronological order. Interesting. Anyway, if you want to read up on what Chapter 1 of Entropy Zero 2 will be like, then check the description below for a link. Also keep a lookout for Media Storm 2 that will most likely release very soon as well. Oh my lord, we just can't stop talking about raising the bar redux, can we? Well, this time it's actually not about what they have posted on Twitter. Well, they posted it to Twitter for sure, but it's actually a video. Even more specifically, it's a teaser video for the upcoming Division 1.2 update that the RTBR team has been working really hard on. It shows a little bit of gameplay and it lets you listen to some of the game's music. It's pretty short, but a teaser isn't really meant to be super long anyway. If you'd like to see this teaser yourself, then check the description below for a link to it. When Division 1.2 will come out is still not known, but the teaser tells us that it's coming soon. We already shared a little bit of this on social media, but let's get into this on the show as well. After about 10 years of development, Half-Life Alpha slash Beta inspired mod Half-Life Absolute Zero officially ceased development. Now, it was announced beforehand that development of the mod will stop on October 12th, regardless if it gets done or not. But unfortunately, the development team behind the mod, Cobalt57, could not get the job done in time. So, why are they moving on? Why not just keep working on the mod until it's finished? Well, 10 years of development is quite a long time, and many of the people working on the mod just want to move 
move on to bigger, better things. Cobalt57 is actually not planning on disbanding anytime soon either. In fact, in this article they published, they actually talked about shifting focus towards full game development, which is an interesting direction to take. They already got projects lined up, which some of them are even completely original IPs. So this is hardly the end of them. Now, Half-Life Absolute Zero Steam page is in the process of being delisted, so you won't be able to get it on Steam anymore soon. But the Steam build has already been made available on ModDB, so you can keep downloading it. Soon, the entirety of the mod source code will also be made available so that content from it can be reused under the Creative Commons license. Now, what exactly Cobalt57 is working on next is still unknown, but I wish them the best of luck in their future endeavors. If you want to read more about the cancellation of Half-Life Absolute Zero, then check the link in the description below. It's the month of Halloween, and that means we're going to get a lot of scary themed events. This also counts for mapping competitions, and I got two to cover today, so I decided to just smash them together in one segment because I thought that was fitting. And also because I'm running out of time here. The first one I'm talking about here is by Map Labs, and it's actually a pretty small one. Halloween Horror 3 is a test tube competition that requires you to create one really spoopy room. Some of the bonus challenges require you to use skeletons radioactive goo, and or Halloween-themed enemies. This competition ends on October 19th, so you don't have a whole lot of time left if you want to participate on this one. Bonus match will be accepted until October 22nd. The second competition here is from Vault Maps. Here, you're basically just required to create a really creepy-themed map, which can be anything. The bonus challenges revolve around not using Jeff, because that's an easy scapegoat, use the flashlight in a unique way, and please don't use cheap Jeff jump scares. They're freaking lame. You got until November 7th to materialize these maps if you want to participate with this new Vault Maps competition. Vault Maps specifically focuses on Half-Life Alex, by the way. Just thought I'd mention that. For more info on both of these spooky competitions, check the description below. You'll find links to their posters over there. You know where else you can find posters? Well, definitely not on our social media pages. No, that's for Half-Life Community News. You can find our Twitter and Facebook down in the description below in case you'd like to follow that. I'm really sorry, poster fans. Our Discord server is down there as well. It's worth joining. There are over a thousand members on there, so... Uh, you're bound to find someone to talk to. I got my own social media pages too. My Twitter and YouTube are both down there in the description. Send me all things Lambda memes and I'll retweet them. And with that all being said, I'm going to end episode 113 of All Things Lambda. Don't be too sad though, because we'll be back next week with more Half-Life community news. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and to ring that bell icon so you'll never miss another episode. Salutations and take care.